Hi, this is Gary from Green Mountain CrossFit, talking about Sunday's event number one, which is Gymnasty Row 2.0. Um, all four athletes are in this workout. Athlete number one, it's up to you and your team uh, which athlete does which. It does not have to be. Both female athletes can go first. You can alternate. Both male athletes can go first. That's up to you and your team. Athlete number one is going to row for 64 calories. After they're done the rower, they're going to do 16 goblet squats, 24 kilograms for men, 16 for women. Um, then they have 16 pull-ups, followed by 16 hand-release push-ups. Once the push-ups are finished, um, the judge will point to the second athlete. The second athlete can already be on the rower. As soon as the judge indicates that those hand-release push-ups are done, Athlete number two may begin to row, all right? It'll be the athlete's responsibility to reset the rower to zero calories. Once that athlete starts to row, finishes his uh, 48 calories, they're gonna do 12 elevated pistols. Their pistols are alternating, so right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, and it's gonna be on a 16 inch box. From there, they have 12 chest to bar pull-ups, followed by 12 handstand push-ups. Again, once the athlete three can get on the rower, as soon as the rower becomes available, they cannot stop rowing until the judge points to them and tells them to go. Again, it is the athlete's responsibility to reset the rower to zero calories. After they row their third, uh, 32 calories, they have eight just regular pistols, also alternating, uh, eight strict pull-ups, eight strict handstand push-ups. At the end of the third round, Whatever your time is, that will be your tie break time in case you don't get through this last bit. Athlete four rows 16 calories, does four goblet pistols alternating. The weight is 24 kilograms for men and 16 for women. Followed by four bar muscle ups and four deficit handstand push ups. They can be kipping uh, push, uh, push ups and it's on a 12 inch parallel. The score here is going to be your time to finish the entire event or the time cap, the time break time, followed by one, I'm sorry, uh, the cap time, followed by one additional penalty second for each rep you did not complete, all right? So let's go take a look at what that's gonna look like. Kimberly is our first athlete, she's on the rower, she's gonna row 64 calories. So, 63, 64. She's done, she gets off the rower. At this point, athlete number two can jump on the rower, reset, and be ready to go, right? Kimberly's gonna come over here and do 16 goblet squats with a 16 kilogram bell. So 16 kilogram bell. Athletes must face this way. We're all, all athletes are always gonna be facing in this direction. All right, Kimberly's gonna do 16 goblet squats. Goblet squats, just goblet squats, Kim. Oh, sorry. Sorry? Just, oh, goblet squats, sorry. <laughs> all right, 15. 16, she's done with her goblet, goblet squats. For a uh, group of standards here, the hip has to be, hip crease has to be below the knees and full extension at the top. Then we go on to 16 pull-ups. Regular pull-ups, they can be kipping, um, they don't have to be strict. She's gonna do her pull-ups here. We need to have full extension of the arms at the bottom and then the chin must get over the bar at the top. So we're gonna do 14, 15, 16, all right? As long as that chin uh, passes the plane of the bar at the top, we are good, and she has full extension at the bottom. Finally, she has 16 hand release push ups. So, here, again, athlete is facing this way. She gets in a plank position, chest touches the ground, right hands come off the ground, and then full extension at the top for her hand release push ups. Excellent. As soon as she finishes her 16 hand release, release push-ups. The judge will give the go-ahead to athlete number two to start rowing. Athlete number two in this case is Kimberly again. <laughs> so the second female athlete is strapped in. She rows 48 calories this time. So 47, 48, she's done. She gets off the rower. Here we're gonna do tw uh, 12 elevated pistols, alternating. So it's gonna be done on the box, right? So your foot here, can drop below the plane of the box. It must not touch the ground, though. So she has to get her hip all the way below parallel there, and then at the top, she must show control and be fully extended and locked out at the top. Excellent, Kimberly. That's 12 reps there. Next, she
she has 12 chest-to-bar pull-ups. Same things apply for the regular pull-ups. You have to show full extension at the bottom, and the bar must just touch the chest below the collarbone. So you can do a couple of those. Get full extension, chest touches below the collarbone. She's good to go. Finally, she has 12 handstand push-ups. Right? So there will be a box. Kimberly's palms must be inside the box. Right? In order for these to count. Her fingers can be outside, but her hand, the palms of the hand, must be inside. So Kimberly's going to kick up into a full handstand here. Feet touch the wall. She's going to come down. Head touch the wall. She can hip, she can stretch, she can do whatever she likes. But at the top, she has to reach full extension, heels are in contact with the wall to make that a good rep. All right? As soon as she finishes her 12 handstand push-ups, the judge will cue athlete number three, which is our first male athlete. 32 calories on the rower. 31, 32, Nick is done. He's gonna come over and do eight alternating pistols. Again, hip crease has to be below the knee at the bottom, and he has to show control and full extension at the top. You can hold your toe, the heel cannot touch. All the way up with control, full lockout, he's done. All right, alternating pistols. Then he has eight strict pull-ups. Strict pull-ups must be start at the dead hang position. Hips and knees must remain open and locked out. Chin has to clear the bar, right? Full extension at the bottom. There's his eight pull-ups. Now he has eight strict handstand push-ups. Has to kick up into a full handstand here. So heels are on the ground, right? Arms are extended. He can touch his head and it has to come to full extension. Hips cannot touch, uh, your backside cannot touch the wall during the strict handstand push-ups, all right? Hands must stay in the box, full extension at the top, head touches, hips and knees stay and walk out through that whole movement. Finally, we have athlete number four, our second male athlete. He's gonna row 16 calories on the rower. 15, 16, he's done. Now he has four goblet pistols. Kettlebells will be held in the front rack position. It does not have to stay in contact with the chest. Here Nick is going to do four alternating pistols. So if you move that kettlebell up, he has to demonstrate that the hip crease is below the knee at the bottom. Uh, full control at the top. The heel cannot touch the ground. And finally he has, uh, he has, uh, yes, he has, uh, no, four, no, four, four bar muscles, excuse me, four bar muscles. Must show full extension at the bottom and full lockout at the top. Basically, that's it for the bar muscle. Your arms have to be full extended at the bottom and then you have to show full lockout of the arms on top of the bar. Lastly, he has four deficit handstand push ups. Alright? So, here, we're not going to demonstrate this, but Nick has to show full extension at the top, right? So, he can kick up into a handstand. Um, he is completely open at the top. Lower yourself down. Head has to touch the bottom. Has to touch the, fl the floor or the gray mat, as you see here, right? And as you kip to press up, you have to show full extension at the top. Your heels have to be in contact with the wall at the top. All right. Good. We'll see you guys on Sunday. Good luck.